In the spring, we spent a weekend camping on Galliano Island, one of the small southern Gulf Islands only about an hour's ferry ride from Vancouver. Other than a slightly stressful start to the trip... Yeah, so that one, you just missed the cutoff. Thankfully, we do have room, so come the summer, you may not make it if you're late. We were looking forward to a relaxing weekend away from the city. It had been an incredibly wet spring. We decided to come camping here last minute, which meant we couldn't get any of the nicer reservable spots. Most of the walk-in spots, however, were still flooded. Luckily, we still managed to get a dry one. Overnight, it had rained quite heavily. We had the foresight to set up a tarp the night before. It wasn't perfect, but it was better than nothing. for the day was to go pick up a friend who was staying on the island and just explore some of the sites. The place she was staying at also happened to be home to some quacking and honking miscreants. After picking up some coffee, we headed off to take in some of the beautiful scenery Galliano had to offer. My goal for that evening was to build a good campfire. If you saw my last camping video, you'll know that we were unable to build and sustain a campfire, likely due to wet firewood, which meant we couldn't cook our hot dogs on the fire. But this time, I was ready. I built the fire using the log cabin method and set the fire off with my fire starters, 
which by the way, if you're looking for some great lightweight fire starters, you can get these at Bigfoot Bushcraft for 15% off with my code Daphne Explores. They're windproof and waterproof, they catch fire quickly, and they're much lighter than the blocks of wood fiber that I was using in the past. Last morning, we took a quick walk around the campground area before setting off. <laughs> 